And time and time again, he's coming up short and he really has to do something to correct that. Brian Wilson here on Facebook says, we were gubbed by a vastly superior team. There's no way any team in Scotland could live with Dortmund. They're not even the best team in Germany. It was 7-1, but it could have been a lot more. And just on that, Keith, the whole idea that, it, I mean, it sounds mad to say, it could have been 10, 11, 12-1. And you, you mentioned it in your chat with Mick. Say it had gone that way. I don't, which... know, you, I, I don't know if you survived that as a manager. Aye, that's what I was going to ask. You really think, even though he's got, even though he's got so much credit in the bank, in terms of you know the football that he's got, Celtic playing, the amount of trophies that are stockpiled up in the the boardroom, Giovanni van Bronckhurst took a seven one at home to Liverpool, um, and he never really survived that. Uh, and by the way, only a few months earlier, he'd taken Rangers all the way to Seville in a, a, a Europa League final, which is mm -hmm. a big tick in the box that Brendan Rodgers doesn't have, um, but. Giovanni van Bronckhorst was never recovering from 7-1. Uh, I, I don't think it's the same for Brendan Rodgers. I don't. But had it gone to 8, 9, 10, double figures, 11, 12, and it could have done, I, I'm just not sure that... I'm just not sure that you survive that. The thing is as well that, as you can probably you know, accept, a lot of... Fans, Rangers fans and other fans of other clubs. Rangers is OK. Beating Dortmund isn't for everyone, I suppose. They're, they're quite gleeful at Celtic's um, disastrous display last night. But I would just say, I mean, if Celtic <laughs> take a gubbin like that, what does it say about the rest of Scottish football? Because Celtic are absolutely strolling it. Haven't even conceded a goal in the Premiership. So, yeah, I, I but, mean, but, it, but I think it points to either a naivety or an arrogance in the way they set up. Celtic yeah. shouldn't be getting, getting their their arse handed to them like that. It just shouldn't be happening. Um, do you think? Do you, do you think Keith Rogers will make a change for the Atalanta game and going he has forward? To. He absolutely has to. He has to yeah. use a different approach. There has to be a more pragmatic game plan because it's not good enough just to say, "Do you know what? We're we're killing everybody. We're ripping everybody to shreds in Scottish football. Let's just go and do the same thing here." It doesn't yeah. work. It just doesn't work. And, and if he wants to, he should go and look at the game I'm talking about. Oh, the Europa League final, for that matter. Atalanta are absolutely sensational yeah. when they've got the, the, the momentum up and, and when they're attacking at teams. The performance, as I said, at Anfield last season actually took the breath away at, at, at moments. They are really dangerous. And Celtic, if Celtic go into that match as open as they, as they went into the last night's, they're going to have big, big problems. William Sloan, watching live on YouTube, says he won't. He should, but he won't. I think he's referring to Brendan Rodgers changing his, his idea. And to be honest, you're spot on everything you say, Keith. I could see Rodgers sticking to his guns. He's I never, he's, no? I, I think he has to. I mean, it's, 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 too, it's happened too many times. <laughs> That's the third time Celtic have shipped seven goals in a Champions League game. But that's what I mean. He's, he's, he's not. He's not changed previously. That's what makes me think. I, I wonder. I just wonder if he thought things was going to be different this time round. That he's got yeah. a better squad. That he's got a really talented team. That the momentum's high. That they're flying. That they can go into this game and throw a few punches and see if they can bloody a nose or two. I think maybe that was was in his head going into the match. It, it can't be in his head going into the next one. He has to go over there and think. Do you know what? It doesn't really matter if we lose this with a 2-1, a 2-0, a even a 3-0, as long as we perform well, as long as the team is structured and it looks more like a team capable of, of being robust at this level, that doesn't matter because he's still got the three points in the bag from Bratislava. They're still in a good position. Yeah. But what matters is if they go there and they get their credibility splattered all over the place as they did last night, yeah. they can't, it can't happen again. <laughs> We could we could talk about the, the Celtic result all night and you know, as I say, tons of comments coming in. And if you have contributed in the comment section, we really appreciate it. 